hi if you're new here my name is sylvia welcome to the channel today we are gonna be creating a textile pattern so i hope you'll be able to follow along so first thing you're gonna need to do is to create a new page a new document so then i started with a circular shape and uh yeah just follow along copy i used another circle and then i changed the shape of the circle as you can see i feel like it's very self-explanatory so i don't really have to say what i'm doing if you have any questions let me know in the comment section below and yeah I'm trying to create like a, a petal sort of yeah so then I reduce the size and scale it down put it right above the circle and center it using the alignment tool which is right there yes and then the rot I'm gonna rotate the image, flip it basically vertically. Now I decided to leave it upright. I changed the color, and yeah, that's the color we're going with. Uh, I've lost my document. I've lost my. Yeah, we're back. All right, so change the color for the circle as well. And now we are gonna use the rotate tool. If you don't know how to use the rotate tool, you click and then you right click using the alt key and that brings up the shape. So yeah, we're gonna try that again. And then you choose the angle. I used 45. I previewed to see if I like that and I do. So then remember to copy and not press OK. I pressed OK. I messed up. I'm probably going to have to do that again. Yep. Doing it again. So remember, right click, press Alt, the Alt key, the rotate tool, and then choose your angle, 45, and then copy. You preview, that's OK, copy okay i don't know why i'm doing it again yeah 45 copy yeah i think i was making sure it's aligned to the center and it was and then for this part when you're taking it around you duplicate by pressing ctrl d and that gives you the circle press it over and over again until the last the last shape yep 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 and then we are gonna reflect the same shape in the opposite direction scale it down mm. and then I made it thinner Usually I find that when I'm creating patterns, like I just kind of like wing it. So then I'm just like eyeballing and seeing um, what shape I like for the center. It's kind of like you're creating a mandala. So then you're just kind of going with the flow. So I like to play around with the shapes and just see what works and what doesn't work. So yeah, I repeat the same steps I did with the first one. Control D, Control C, Control D, D, D. And then, yeah, select all the outer shape. Oops, I moved. Select all the same shapes and then change the color and rotate using shift so that you kind of get like a, um, what do you call it? Yeah, you get it in the right, in the, like it's centered proportionally 
towards the center of the circle and yeah the lines that guide you they make that easier for you so that's what i usually find so then you want to use the the snap to grid so then it aligns correctly so that's what i did at this point or not i decided to leave it like that because it looked better and added circles towards the center of the second shapes that we created which is the yellow shapes we created yeah and then i changed the color i liked red and so rotate it i rotated it again using the center click right click right click on that center press alt you have to select on the tool that you want to duplicate by the way and then you click right click on the center and then you yeah, copy and then control d and that goes around the center where you pressed the right click on the alt the alt on the right click does that make sense the alt in the center yeah like i said if you have any questions ask me below because i just assume that i know the this stuff and it's simple to me so then if you if you're not following along just let me know we select object pattern make pattern and then that comes automatically so you can choose which type of grid you'd like it to look like break there's break there's all those selections and then yeah done i went with that that one and then when you select a new a new shape yeah i went to the rectangular shape and i hid the bottom um the illustration that i created and then um selected i selected the pattern that i created because when you click done it does it automatically creates a pattern and you should be good to go there you have your pattern very easy simple so at this point i move on to photoshop and for photoshop i like to create duplicates of the pattern because i mean why make one while well, you can make many of the same pattern and duplicate it to different colors different types and this is how i do it so just follow along and see what i do so paste the other pattern from illustrator which we just created it's gonna be like a vector so then it's gonna have a uh, transparency at the bottom so then i use a black background and that gives me that pattern do i like it i like it do you like it i hope you like it so that's one so i kind of just play along with the colors and the layers and do this a couple of times and as i do this you'll see that i'm creating different patterns yeah so i'm just gonna speed up the i'm gonna speed up now the video so that you can check it out and see what kind of patterns i create along as i do them
So I hope you did like that tutorial. If you have any questions, ask them below in the comments. And uh, thanks for watching. Remember to like, subscribe and turn on the notifications.